Hello and welcome to the 41st tutorial in the C++ programming series and in this part we're going to be looking at the delete operator. The delete operator allows memory to be freed up that is not being used anymore by a pointer because you have to allocate memory dynamically to a pointer so if you're not no longer using it it's recommended to free it up so other applications or other parts of your application can use that memory otherwise you'll, you can get memory leaks your application will start using too much memory, you can get crashes, sort of stuff that you obviously don't want. So let's go ahead and open up our project. What we're going to do is create a really simple pointer and then just show you how to delete it. So we're going to create a pointer, call it P, assign some memory to it. I'm going to assign a value called 7. I'm going to do C out. Asterisk P, STG, and line. If we run this, we get the value 7. But to actually just delete your pointer, it's simple. You just use the keyword delete, specify the name of your pointer. You don't put asterisk or anything like that. So P, semicolon. Then you assign the value no to P. So P equals no. And now you just do STD, CL. This isn't necessary, but this is just to show you. STD, colon, colon, and line, and run. Your build succeeded, and it has basically crashed here because we're trying to access memory which no longer exists. But if we just comment on this line and run it, it runs fine because memory has been deleted successfully and it works a okay. I won't comment this one back and I will leave it commented out. But that's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at structs. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for this, all the required links will also, I mean, sorry, brain is there. All the required links for the source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day.